Security Now Illustrated by AskMrWizard.com, illustrating concepts, mechanisms, and algorithms from the amazing Security Now podcast by Steve Gibson and Leo Laporte. This is Episode 3, NAT Router Firewalls. What few people recognize is that a NAT router, the same kind of NAT router that you know many people have for so- so-called IP sharing, where, where they have one IP on their cable modem or their DSL and they want to share it among many machines, that makes inherently an extremely good hardware firewall. Nothing is able to come in to the, uh, across the router that isn't expected. Because the way it works is that, that the, the router needs to know when packets do arrive, which machine behind the router that is in your own private network is expecting to receive it. Since they're all sharing that one IP, the router has to have some way of figuring out which one asked for it. The way it does that is that it watches the packets leaving the, the, the network. It watches the, any machines on the LAN sending data out onto the internet. When packets leave, it makes a note of that packet, where it's bound for, and it changes the IP on the packet to its own public IP and gives it a port so that when data comes back from that remote server, it looks in this table, a so-called connection table, to try to find a match. When it's able to match it up, that tells it which of the machines, because you might have, you know, you could have 15 of them behind your NAT router, it tells it which of the machines originated that traffic in the outgoing direction so that it knows how to route it in the incoming direction. Leland asked, so that's what a router is doing? It's saying that the data came from X, and so when it comes back, I'll send it back to X? Exactly. So how, we ask, does that protect us? Well, the way it protects you is that hackers that are scanning the net or worms that are infecting the net that are just sending out data or, or remember for a while there was that the, uh, the Windows Messenger spam where people were getting these pop-up messenger dialogues all the time. All of that, worms, hackers, scanners, messenger uh, spam, all that, those are unsolicited packets, meaning that they're coming from some random IP and port number and they're just scanning across your IP range of, of your ISP and that traffic tries to reach your computers. Well, the beauty of having a NAT router as like your first line of defense is any of that stuff coming in, the router thinks, oh, maybe this is expected. Maybe it's been solicited by a computer behind the router. So it checks its table. It will not find an entry there because it's coming from any of other, you know, four billion IPs. There literally are four billion possible IPs. And so it ignores it. It just throws it away. That's really all a firewall does. Leo continued by asking, so just by virtue of the fact that it can't route a packet that it didn't expect, it's blocking everything unexpected. Yeah. That makes it a firewall. Even if it doesn't say so in the box? Even if they don't say this is a router and firewall? Exactly. Any NAT router is also a firewall. The original, audio-only version of this podcast can be found on the Gibson Research Corporation site at grc.com slash security now. That episode is about 26 minutes long. This clip illustrates some of the highlights from that show. This video clip comes from a large collection of related clips. All are indexed and easy to find at www.askmrwizard.com along with related items, text articles, illustrations, and forums. Please visit us today. We appreciate your support. Thank you.